back to Attingham Park. And boy, this looks like it's a long one. Nearly 45 minutes. Um, going to be expanding the number of cows that we have. And we're also going to be fixing the issue that some of you will have had seen with uh, the silo taking the manure from the cows. So I have worked out how to fix that. So I'll be showing you that as well. And we're going to get another 15, 18 month old Holsteins. Right, up to 45 cows. I'm pretty sure we have enough feed to cover that. So, yep, yeah, that will increase the amount of manure that we are getting. Yeah, we have a bunch of jobs to do today. Fixing the silo, we're going to tackle first. Um, so, first thing, getting the manure out of the silo. And there's an issue there because although the silo will take in bulk, it won't let you output bulk which you'll see in a moment as I try and go through and uh, empty out the manure. It is not available. So I did a post on this on my Discord about how you can do it, but I'm going to kind of take you through most of the steps anyway. The first step, if you want to keep it as a bulk silo and you're not worried about having manure appearing in there, then this will fix everything for you pretty much. Uh, what we're going to do is you're going to go into find the XML file for it, which is in map and placeables. And that was a bit quick. I'm sorry. And you want to add bulk to the output categories. If you need to just go back and pause it to uh, make note of that. That will let you take the manure out. Uh, so you can see we can eventually. There we go. And interestingly, because the actual manure pit over there that I want to be using acts as an extension, it acts as an extension with this as well. So we're going to be emptying both, um, which I wasn't expecting initially because I hadn't thought of that. But yeah, we're going to empty both out. So we're going to get all of our manure into a trailer. I would not do what I end up doing. So I get it all in a trailer. And then once it's sorted, I tip it back into the manure pit over there. And that doesn't work particularly well. What I end up doing is taking it back out, deleting and replacing that manure pit, and then it all works. So, yeah. And um, hopefully this is something that GB is going to sort in the update, because if you're not on PC, you can't fix that. Um, and, for example, you could put in your root crops that you harvest and not get them back out. And we did message him on it, and uh, so hopefully it's maybe one of the things that he fixes in the update, or has fixed in the update, we will see. Um, into the bright orange voucher queue series, because we need another trailer, and you'll see now. Now I've got it all out, what we've done is change everything to farm silo. So the loading and unload and the storage are all set to farm silo. That does limit what you can put in, I'm happy with that. Um, because it means the manure will go into the manure pit. Again, if that was too quick, there is a description on my Discord. Um, or just go back and pause the screen. So, uh, yeah. Not really a tutorial, just showing you what I had to do to fix it. So, uh, yeah, I do go come back and tip it in. But it doesn't, it seems like it wasn't spawning. So I ended up emptying it back out again and replacing it. And that does work. Oh yeah, that, that ended up working just fine. Um, once we've got this done, we're going to get on to making some grain grist, grain mix. That we're going to use in the TMR that we need to make. Because we need to start making some TMR to supplement the cow's feed. Um, we also have the field of sugar beets harvest, um, which are just in front of us. Which we're going to get to as well. And then between this video and the next one, I'm going to skip ahead. A fair way to February ish, probably like I've just done on Maypole Farm. There's really going to be nothing going on apart from me mixing feed and feeding the cows. So, not planning to open the clamp yet. We'll get through the bales of May silage first before we do that. Yeah. About all I've got to say about that really what I'm planning to do on here in the spring is break out pumps and hoses so um, we should have a lot of slurry by spring um, I don't think I, I might build a BGA on here with it um, BGA support for the maze plus fill type should be coming in the next update hopefully to maze plus um, but yeah, let, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see me build a BGA. We can always add in the cache to be able to do that. Um, I'm not averse to deleting the mini BGA that we have on here. 
and building one from pumps and hoses. Um, my my plan normally would be just to use the uh, some of their tanks and pumps and stuff and take it out of our slurry store and pump it on the fields that way. I think they're going to. I'm hoping they're going to make it so that you can attach the pumps to normal slurry stores. But I guess we'll have to see. That might need some editing of maps. I don't know. Right, we are over at the. Uh, the Doika buy station so this was where the BGA was and I deleted it and added in all the buy points that come with Maze Plus and we are going to buy some uh, oats so this sell point sells things at a 20% a discount to the base price which is kind of cool um, and later on we are going to be doing some beet pulp baling using the multi baler and uh, yeah I have a, a senior moment at that point but yeah you, you can buy for 80% less than the base price which you know if you wanted to, you could use that to cheat to make money. But if you're going to do that and you're on PC, just press F12 and add it in. Um, and you know, the, the maybe it's maybe it's not that cheaty. You know, you're buying in bulk and you're distributing to people. Um, the reason it's cheaper is because it's kind of feed feed quality grain rather than best quality. Um, yeah, I think they're a really good addition. I had the the brewer's grain and the beet pulp ones there as well. We're going to be using the beet pulp one later on with the multi baler. I think that's the thumbnail so we can tip the oats in here and then we're going to lease the grain mill and with what i have here we're going to be going for 15 percent oats uh, i'm just checking on the manure i don't think it's going up and um, we're going to be going 15 percent oats 30 percent barley and 55 percent wheat um the grain grain mix is based more around wheat than any of the others and then oats is the most expensive crop so we're going to go for a minimal amount on that Need at least 10 percent i decided to do 15 just to have a bit of a margin for error in mixing um yeah and that's going to be one of the components for our tmr we have on order a molasses tank thank you just that adam um he's built a a molasses tank that you can put on the farm that you can pay to have filled up like fuel tanks and things um which is his first mod that he has submitted to mod hub and he's given me a copy so you'll be seeing that on the next video here on attingham um i didn't get a chance to add it before i recorded this one but it's really cool it's very realistic um so yeah we're gonna lease ourselves the starter mill in grain mill configuration this needs 280 horsepower so you do need a pretty beefy tractor to run it so yeah that's why it's going on the big class um, one of the things with this and we do see it in a moment is once you start to put crops in if this is over a trigger it can empty into it will start to empty you do not need to turn it on so my advice mix with the auger folded and then unfold the auger so and we're just going to back this straight into the silo fill. You can do this over at Doika Buy Point. You could back in and load up the wheat, barley and oats directly buying it if you wanted to. That would work just fine. And I have done that, in fact, in a bunch of testing. Um, but we have it all in the silo. So we're going to go for about 15% oats, a bit over. And then up to 45% with the barley is the plan there we go 46 pretty good and then we'll just fill the rest with wheat and you'll see that will turn in to grain mix there we go um, so we now need to get this in the trailer if you had a more open silo so if you could spin around and get the auger over the silo you could just open the auger and it would go straight into the silo but we don't have the space for that so i'm going to open that up and we're going to jump in the q series again and get ourselves a trailer now, you may have just spotted that the food just started to go up in the bottom right hand corner. And you will see as we get round why that is, because I made a, uh, a slight slip up and I underestimated how big the trigger is for the cow's feed trough. So it is emptying our grain mix into the feed trough, which is slightly annoying. 
Um, I did think it might have been going in the silo, but no, it's going in the food trough, so we've lost. We haven't really lost it, the cow's going to eat it, but yeah, that wasn't what I planned. Um, basically, through this video, we're going to be mixing grain and mix while we do other jobs now. Um, the mill is quite slow to process the grain, so it's best to do it whilst you're doing other things. You don't need to sit with it, the tractor will stay running, so yeah. That's kind of what I did. Um, and I'm driving really badly there. Yeah, we're probably going to stick that molasses tank in the corner here. Um, should be fairly easy to get to with the feed wagon and isn't in the way of where we're storing bales, although there's a good chance we'll end up storing bales there as well. Although bales next to the diesel and slurry tank may be a bad idea. But then again, our silo is next to the diesel and slurry tank, so maybe it doesn't matter. But as I was saying, it would be really nice if you could just hook up... Um, Maybe one of the pumps from Pumps and Hoses or the hose direct to the output of the slurry tank, but I guess that needs some modding to support it a bit like with the manure system. So I think um, silos needed to be updated to support that. Um, but yeah, my, my plan, and it would work however I wanted to do it, is to uh, get one of the, the um, a tank and one of their tanks that come with Pumps and Hoses probably not the right word like a field silo or something like that fill that up with slurry and then pump from there uh, we don't need to bother with the cow pasture because we're grazing that the fertilizing doesn't have an impact on grazing um, but we've got a bunch of fields around the farm that we do need to and it might be that we get one of those field tanks i don't know what to call it um, and take that around the farm with us and then just use a slurry tender to fill that from the slurry tank it all depends how much we've got really you can see but you can see that we are having a little bit of a bath here with getting everything set up I'm going to move this whole thing out in pasture um, or the next load it would just be easier than trying to do it in here it seems like a big enough space but we have two fairly big tractors i guess and the big trailer and the grain mill so yeah this is me moving the manure we're just going to tip it in the field that does mean i'm going to manually need to load it into a trailer to spread it at some point um, again that'll be a job for the spring we'll accumulate manure over the winter and uh, maybe stick it through a BGA and create some more digestate and uh, work that way. It would be kind of fun to build um, a BGA from pumps and hoses on here. I'm not sure where we would build it. We could maybe use field 27, uh, which is the small field that had wheat in it. Um, that would work. That would work. Um, I don't know if the area where we have the mini BGA is big enough because the mini BGA is mini, obviously. The clue is in the name. But yeah, I, I've not had time to look at pumps and hoses yet. I've I installed it last week. I didn't install it on release, but I installed it like sometime last week and I've not looked at it at all. I watched Farm Sim Guy's preview of it and I think it looks really cool. I really like the idea of pumping the slurry and the digestate. Um, I started watching Mr. S or listening to Mr. CDP's one when I was walking the dogs and uh, struggled to maintain my attention on it. Um, I like a lot of his content. I do not find his tutorial style suits my brain. Um, so yeah. Manure is all emptied out. There's a bit left, um, but we're just going to sell this off um, and put a new one down. And don't mind losing a little bit of manure. It's not the end of the world. Um, so this is the the manure heap that GB released to go with this map if it's perfectly in these bunkers, concrete pads, whatever they are. Um, so you need to press V to allow free placement. Or whatever the key is if you're using a controller um, and then you can turn off all these lines it's really nicely done i think um seems to work really well particularly now that it doesn't go in the silo accidentally um, 
but if you jump out and uh, if you open the F1 menu there's a spot where I think it's either the R key or a left click appears there we go left click will remove all the lines so now all you've got is the fill icon and I have lately been playing with all the icons turned off because I think it looks better um, yeah so then it's basically invisible which is really cool um, yeah we'll just leave this was it 40 or thousand liters of manure in the field and come summertime we will spread it um, I might get a belt system to just load that up um, yeah there'll be a way of doing it easily you can see in the background the uh, the grain mill is still processing I've got the simple inspector running and you can see that it's done two-thirds of the uh, processing which is gives you an idea of the speed that it runs at although I have been jumping around a little bit so maybe not yeah it, it's a slow process I would do other things while you're doing it rather than just focusing on the one job All right let's get the beets harvested this is going to be a job for course play um, because I'm still doing the grain milling so we're going to be jumping backwards and forwards so I'm going to set the harvester on course play. I'm going to tip the beets in the field here. Yes, there's lime in the field. It'll be okay. Um, because now we can't put them in the silo because it won't take bulk crops anymore. And I could maybe have put a root crop store in and thinking about it. If I'm going to take that field over to build a BGA, it might have been sensible to put a root crop store in there. Um, we're going to be feeding all of the beets anyway so it doesn't really matter where they are i suspect over winter they will mostly get eaten um probably what i'll do is move some over to the yard for mixing so we're going to do a lot of headlands with a lot of overlap because this thing needs a lot of space to turn around so yeah ba basic course play stuff really i do like to for a lot of things run a bigger headland overlap just to minimize the uh, area that gets missed. Um, depending on the kit, you can use the sharp turns, but I tend to use kit that doesn't work like that uh, at the moment. It's The sharp turns is better for three-point mounted stuff. It seems to work quite well for that. Combines it does quite well, so maybe the harvester would, but because of the narrow working width, I just went with smooth so that it would keep moving. And that's the first load of grain mix in the trailer. And because of the speed of the silo, I have added the fill level limiter mod. So it's a mod on Mod Hub. Um, so 2,250,000 liters is 15%, and then 6,750 liters, and then fill all the way to the top. So yeah, that's that done. That will just make it a little bit easier. Um, I'll probably take it off once we've finished doing this, because otherwise it'll be a pain for everything else. Um, but really handy if you're making TMR from a silo um, then it really helps with that as well if you're using something like Alien Jim's buildable shed pack with the silos in that they're really good for making TMR um, I used to use those a lot on FS19 you just park the mixer under put the ingredients in empty into the silo and repeat um, yeah and, and that way having the fill level limiter would be really good for that just for smoothing out the process and getting your mix right more so i think is useful for um if you're doing loose silage and you run out you know you don't have enough bunker you can empty a bunker into the silo and uh, free up space it's not very realistic but it works so yeah we're just going to tip these in the field and uh, that'll be that done. First trailer full of grain mix and some pro level reversing here. Um, much better driving this time than on Maypole yesterday. It crashed quite a lot on there. I was having a bad day, obviously. So. All right, let's make another mix. Again, 2,250 liters of oats and a bit more reversing. This thing doesn't reverse brilliantly. I think it's quite light, but yeah. And then 6,750 liters, but up to that for barley and then the rest for wheat. 
equipment there. The fill level limiter mod does just make it much easier for mixing this. You don't have to uh, be poised. The alternative would be to, which is what I was originally gonna do, to reduce the unload speed of the silo so it's much easier to get roughly where you wanna be. Um, that is, on FS19, that's what I did with the silo from Alien Gym that I mentioned for mixing TMR. I would slow it down. If I was going to do a big TMR mixing session, which I would do in the winter when I was playing with that, um, I'd just slow down the unload rate and it takes a bit longer, but it's easier to be more accurate. You can see we're making pretty good progress here. The, uh, the eight headlands gave the harvester plenty of room to turn around, which made everything a lot easier. It didn't get stuck at all. It didn't really miss any points. So yeah, yeah, just basic cosplay stuff. If I'd have had something to tip into, I'd have probably done this bit with auto drive, but I didn't, so did it manually. The only other job that I was really doing was mixing the grain mix, so it wasn't too much of an issue. Um, you can see in the bottom right, bottom left-hand corner, the uh, the Axion 960 is currently emptying into the uh, the trailer with another load of grain mix. So I think I ended up doing six mixes. We've got plenty of grain left, um, but yeah, I did about six mixes of that, so it's going to give us a, a good supply to last for a while. So I went with, uh, we've just done a meaty-ish time lapse, but I went with a lot more, and I have been lately, a lot more slow footage, making the videos longer. And I'm interested to know if people prefer this to, you may not have seen my old style, which was pretty much all time lapse with me talking over it. The downside for me is I find it much easier to talk for 15 or 20 minutes than 30 to 40 minutes. But more people seem to be watching them for longer. So there is that benefit, which is pretty useful from my point of view. But I am going to say at this point as well, thank you to the patrons and the YouTube channel members. Um, really appreciate you guys supporting the channel. Um, particularly the last few weeks where it's all been very random as to when I can post things. Um, I was pretty late with the video for the Patreon exclusive series last week because I spent the whole weekend testing Maze Plus. Um, and then it was very busy at work. I'm more organized this week. So it's still Monday and I now have, this is the third video that I will be able to finish editing and uploading. So in a pretty good place. Um, in fact, I think the next video I will be recording is probably for Erling. But if you're interested in a series on that, a couple of cool little four tractors, small farm, lots of animals, uh, head on over to Patreon. There's a link below. Uh, but yeah, I, I am curious if people are enjoying this format more. For me, recording is exactly the same because I sit and record most of them you know, and then do the voiceover afterwards. It's the this bit, the this bit. Having things to, to waffle on about for 40 minutes um, whilst the game is playing in the background. So we've got a pretty good heap of sugar beets. I didn't actually check in precision farming how much we got. Um, and I don't have my list handy of what we're going to be putting in that field next year. But I think we've done all of our wind planting. So I will double check before we progress time. Because that would be a little bit awkward if I didn't. Um, I think mostly we've got a lot of corn to plant now. We've planted the wheat and barley, so um, I think it's corn and maybe some beets, something like that. Um, we're going to see if we can stick this trailer in the building here, but yeah, I'm not sure this space is big enough to build a VGA from pumps and hoses. I've really not looked at how much space they take and all the components they need. Um, and I'm really doing a bad job of working out how to park. So what day was it? it was a few days ago. It was last week, actually. I, uh, as you all laugh at my driving talents, I uh, had to have the car MOT'd and then repaired. It was the repair, actually, because if I had the MOT on something minor, I had to wait a week for it to be repaired. Um, and it was left in rather an awkward spot in the garage. And I was... Uh, Quite proud of myself for reversing it out. Uh, yeah, basically my driving is not as bad in real life as it is in game. 
Um, in fact, last week I parked my dad's 35 foot boat in its parking spot on the dockside, perfectly fine. With it being pushed by a tiny little John Deere, not John Deere, New Holland, um, I can't remember what model it was. Um, it's basically a lawn tractor. Um, and I didn't get to play with it because I was really busy. Um, and it was, it was really busy because there were lots of boats being moved about. Um, but when I go back, I might have to see if I can have a play. They also have a telehandler there. Um, I don't know what their rules are on people being qualified to use the kit. So. But my dad's president of the club, so, you know. That might be that factor. Right, that's that job done. Beets harvested. We are still mixing some grain mix. Um, I think now we're going to mix some TMR. Because we've got the grain mix. We've got lots of silage and hay. So let's see how we can go about making a TMR. So next time we'll be adding in some molasses. But... Um, I guess one thing to mention, and uh, it's come up a couple of times, and I think I've mentioned it once already, but when you're making your TMR, you don't need to put in foods for each category as long as you satisfy the recipe, either the one that's delivered with Maze Plus or one that you created for your TMR, then it will fill all of the bars you set it to fill. Um, so, for example, with the realistic mixture, I could make a TMR that was just grass silage and corn silage or maize silage and it would fill all four bars in the trough even though silage is only one category. So yeah, as long as your TMR is a valid mix then you're good. So what we are going to go for is basically one of each of the bales that we have and some grain mix because that's the components that we have that will uh, get us a nice valid TMR. I've taken the wrap off the bale, which I wouldn't normally do because uh, Mace Plus bales have a special high mineral content wrap, which is beneficial to feed your cows. If you don't watch the streams, that will make no sense to you at all. But yeah, we're going to put one bale of grass silage in, one bale of May silage and one bale of hay. And then hopefully that will leave some space for some um, grain mix. That's the plan. We'll see how it goes. I uh, I was kind of winging this. Um, I would normally plan it out, but it felt like it would work. The only minimums are the grass silage and the maize silage. So I didn't have to worry really about anything else. It was more, will we have space in the mixer for everything? Um, and I think where we've expanded the number of cows, I mean, it's not that many, but this would be enough cows that we're going to be feeding two mixes a day. But I'm going to be looking for a bigger mixer, probably. If only because it will make it a little bit quicker when I'm recording videos. If we can do, and it's, it's the bigger the mixer, the easier it is to get a mix right with bales and stuff. I mean, this actually worked out pretty good. Um, in that it was three bales and some extra stuff and that's quite quite a nice number um, so yeah that is going to work I think we I don't know if you can put straw in the realistic mix anymore um, but I generally don't put straw in my TMR anyway even on base game stuff um, base game I always just used hay and silage and mineral feed um, we're not using mineral on here, we're using grain mix, which kind of has the same effect in terms of it being in the food group. But as I said, it doesn't matter what food groups you put in the mixer, as long as you get a valid mix based on the recipe that you have. Um, if you haven't seen it, I have a really long, fairly long, detailed video on customizing the feeding and mixtures and recipes and things. And there is also an update to the PDF that's being worked on which explains that a bit more as well and the difference between a mixture and a recipe most of the time you don't need to worry about altering the mixtures just the recipes is my advice unless you're doing really crazy things with the feeding if you want to have a custom TMR just alter a recipe and everything else will take care of itself 
that's my advice but so far we are looking good we're yeah we've got a little bit of space left and uh we're probably a bit heavy on hay because i made the hay bales quite big and again that would be a nice thing if we could uh had a slightly bigger mixer and we could get four bales in we could put a bit more maize in um, but we're going to go for yeah about that much grain mix and um, there is a limit on how much we can put in so and uh, the crashing has started this is why i went for the mini mana too because it makes it easier to get round be quite snug yard if we put this in we should end up with tmo in fact i think we have tmr already I get close enough it will tell me that we have yeah that's got to be a valid yeah that is a valid tmr right. i'm just trying to get it so that i can see the hud slightly better the white on the concrete is not a very good contrast don't know if you can change the text color um, but at the moment we're at a three percent grain mix um, and we can go up to 15 so yeah we've got plenty of space so we'll just keep tipping until we run out there we go yeah that's good we will feed that to the cows and we might need to feed them again before the end of the day i'm not entirely sure where we are on how much feed we have mixed up so yeah we're just going to park up here um i could do with having a really good tidy up on the yard and moving some stuff about uh, particularly the stuff over there i think that when that tether is leased and i do return it later on but um yeah we, we I, i've got a bit lazy with uh jumping between jobs on here it would be really nice if that molasses tank was actually not there and we could put the molasses tank that we're going to buy might sort that might sort that might move that out of the way and yeah we need to get the beet harvester returned as well we have a lot of stuff laying about and we are not milling grain at the moment i use this why i love the simple inspector um because i can know whether things are still running or not it's really good for harvesting as well just where the combine's full if you're running that on course play all that kind of thing you know i do that kind of thing quite a lot and i just said kind of thing kind of a lot so i think the last job we're going to do on here is the beet pulp baling um so it's one of the the, the multi baler which is on dsa's discord um adds in tmr bales beet pulp bales and one other which has escaped me at the moment oh why can't i remember that i don't know so yeah, I think that is the next job we are going to tackle. I'm just going to uh, switch screens and actually open that up so that I can answer the question because it will bug me if I don't. Uh, if I can find it. There we go. So it is. It is. Poise yourselves. And... EMR, beat pulp, and CCM. That was it. Yeah, CCM, which we might do some of as well at some point. So, just get the Keenan parked out of the way. And I do think that is the next job we are going to get onto here. Look at that brilliant reversing. Little voucher does a perfect job on that. So, yeah, I have. We're going to be making brown bales, so I've leased the Anderson bale stacker so we can bring them back. And we're actually going to make them in the buy point for beet pulp. Um, because of the way the, the baler has a hopper on it, which is on follow me somewhere behind us. Um, I'm hoping I can sort of semi-automate this. Uh, and this is just going to be another thing that we can put in the TMR or feed direct to the cows if we want to. Uh, and again, that would be where it would be nice to have a bigger mixer um then we could just do things a little bit quicker they're just trying to remind myself which is which and that one definitely has a sugar beet on the side but that's the one we want um, i'm gonna do the smaller size bale so 125 centimeter because that will make it easier to mix and uh yeah we're just gonna park underneath and uh hit fill 
not Phil, Phil. Sorry if you're called Phil. Um, and the theory is that we, with automatic bail dropping on, I can park the Voucher next to it and it'll wrap, drop and fall on to the bail stacker and it will be nice and automated. That was mighty expensive. £5,000. Hmm. So, I realised at some point that I'd updated Maze Plus with the Mod Hub version and not added in the fill types file which I keep going on about. So I was paying one pound per litre rather than six pence per litre of beet pulp, um, which is quite a difference. And and it's not so much a problem on here because this is you know this is just about playing with Maze Plus. Um, but yeah, if you are one of those people who didn't want to make those changes, a this is why it's a good idea. B they should all be in the next version of Maze Plus. It's something that I'm working on or the next release of getting some sensibly balanced prices in. Um, not sure when that's gonna release because we're not make, working to mad time scales um, and there are a few bits left to sort, but yeah. Um, there'll be some things in there which mean you can buy them and sell them and make money. There'll be some things in there where, yeah, you know. So yeah, this is a classic one. If you buy beet pulp, turn it into signage, you can make money from it. You know, uh, but the the, the doika buy point that we have just at off screen, you could probably buy stuff from that and take it to a shop and sell it and make money. But that's uh, and again bales. We we're reducing the price of all the maize plus bales. They are on sale. Something like that. Um, the prices are more realistic within the bounds of what farms in lets you do because farms in bale prices are stupid. Um, but that means that you can probably go and buy a bunch of bales for cheap, take them to a sell point and make money. But I know of a certain alien who used to buy bales and sell them and make money. It was part of his job in the past. So, you know, it, 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 there are going to be some things, but you know, if you want to play farm sim like that, that's your prerogative. You know, you could go in and edit the prices anyway. So, yeah. It may not be perfect but it's going to be something so that if you don't want to go and add that separate file in from the discord it's at least set so that things aren't stupid you aren't going to make silly amounts of money from you know selling some grass silage or something yeah, so basically this process is just going to repeat until i realize that i'm paying stupid money for these bales because it did take me a while to realize um you know really this is this should be quite an economical feed because the beet pulp is a waste product um and so we shouldn't be spending five grand every two bales so that the fill is two bales worth um because it fills the hopper and it fills the bale chamber each time so yeah but it shouldn't be that much so that was two two seven eight two because the bale hopper was full already so yeah and if I was if I was just playing for this it wouldn't matter, but I'm trying to demonstrate some things for Maze Plus and Beat Pulp shouldn't be that expensive. You know, it shouldn't be an expensive feed option. It should be more like this is. I think. I think I've made the change. Yeah. Hundred and sixty seven pounds. I think that's for one bale's worth. Um Yeah, much more reasonable. It's really hard to get a good camera angle around all of those but I'm much happier paying that much for a bale's worth of beet pulp than uh, 2,700 odd. Um, so I'm basically just going to now fill up the Anderson stacker with bales. We'll take them back to the yard and let them ferment, and then we can use them for the feeding over the winter. That's the plan. Hopefully it will work. And again, that's why I said having a bigger feed mixer would be useful. So this audio might have been a bit chunky. Chunky is maybe not the right word. I've been having to pause the recording quite a lot because I've got stuff going on around me and it meant I've had to stop and answer some questions. So yeah, I guess that's the downside of the 40 or 45 minute video is it's harder to find a slot 
where I can just sit and do this peacefully without people asking me questions. So we'll see how it goes with finishing it off. I have three minutes to go, three minutes 40 to go. And yeah, you can see now we're just in a process of filling up, producing bales and loading them on to the bale loader. Um, this will be the last one. I think there is space for one more, but I think I would end up with two with how it works with filling. So we're just going to do the one um, and then we can return the multi baler because it is leased and we're going to do one more and then we'll get these stored back at the yard. I think they're working on a version of this for Mod Hub. I suspect it won't have the farming agency branding for a start. And it probably won't have those additional bale types because otherwise it would be limited to PC only because it would need Maze Plus for the extra fill types. So yeah, I think it probably won't have those. It will still work with the Maze Plus bales, but you just won't get that um, TMR, Beat Pulp and CCM additions. At some point, we're going to be doing some TMR bales as well because I think that would be kind of cool be really good if you had you know like a satellite yard where you uh you had cows that you needed to feed tmr to but you didn't want to move your whole mixing setup um you could set this up somewhere with a belt coming off of the tmr mixer and uh yeah make yourself some tmr bales i think that would be really cool we uh we might do that at some point i think we don't have a satellite cow yard it will just be another thing to try them this this save is all about trying random stuff so returning the multi baler and the grain mixer and not the auto loader because that's full of the bales we've just made so we've got 23 bales on there um i think they were three and a half thousand liters each something like that so quite a nice stock of winter feed to add to everything else i think we'll probably be making more use of that in the future it's pretty cheap as we expand the cows um, seems like a good way of feeding them for cheap i suspect that uh, i think you know next year we'll probably have a lot more grass anyway we have one less pasture to mow because we have the beef in it but we've got a decent number of grass fields so we're going to have a decent amount of corn silage as well so i think we'll be good um and we can just mix it up a bit you know we've got the grain mix mix it up grain mix yeah we've got the grain mix we've got the beet pop silage we've got um sugar beets we've got the different types of silage we've got hay yeah i think it's going to be quite cool I think hey, we, we have set aside a field as well for whole crop silage next year, which will be one of the few times that I've done it. The only other time that I've whole cropped um, was in FS19, when I had a field of soybeans that didn't get ready to harvest because of a harsh winter and real seasons. Um, so I had to whole crop them because I could whole crop them a state earlier rather than the weather. That was the only time I've made whole crop. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe comment and i will catch you next time on attingham park